Hello, this is your girl Fasology, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification button so you know exactly when I'm uploading new content. I'm on VU today, and I'm going to teach you guys how to make a full men's body tattoo. So I will be doing the sleeves, and I will be doing the torso, and I will be doing the back as well. Here, the opacity maps are blank which is fine. You're going to make your own opacity map. It's going to be 256 times 512. This is the torso. So the torso part will represent the front part of the chest and then the back. And these will be the sleeves. So let's get started. I'm going to t tell you guys exactly who I derived from. So I derived from Masmoe, and I'm just going to scroll down, show you guys. The product ID number is below. As you can see, you can copy and paste that, or you can click derive from product. So this is, what it, this is what it looks like. This is what it would look like. The sleeves, the front and the back. Okay, now let's go to Google to see exactly some ideas. We're in Google, and I typed in Tattoo PNG Transparent. They have some really good ones. They have a lot of basic ones, ones that you see many people getting. There's so many things you can choose. But these are just some ideas. So a lot of these are really nice. Very, very nice. Okay. So these are some ideas I'm showing y'all. But this is where I get the tattoos from. Okay, so let's open up GIMP and get started. So as you can see, I'm in GIMP already. I have my tattoo opacity map, but it's not finished yet. I did 256 times 512. All you have to do is click on File, New, and pretty much it'll bring you to where you can put that in. All I'm going to do is Use the paint bucket tool and to color it black, and there you go. Very simple. Now, I'm going to input the tattoo. The one that stuck out to me was the Medusa type one or the female type one. So I'm going to scale this and see what 200 looks like. Okay, 200 doesn't look bad. Now, what do I want for the back? The back, if you're going to do the back tattoo, if you're not going to do the back tattoo, just leave this blank. But if you're going to do the back tattoo, you need to put a tattoo here. File, press layer. Let's see. One twenty. Let's see what that looks like. And I'm gonna move this down. Now this needs to be white, and since I already downloaded it this color, I don't need to change it. This is for the part top, the chest, and this will be for the back. I'm gonna leave that there. I'm going to export. Now we're going to see what it looks like in VU. Okay, so we're back in VU. Right here is where it says torso. Let 
Okay, and I'm going to click Apply Changes. Save. So this is what the tattoo looked like, which is not bad. I probably should have made it smaller. But if you're doing a full body one, you want to get all the areas. But this is what it looks like. And then the back, the dragon snake looks like a snake but it's a dragon now you can change the color obviously where the texture would be at to black and this tattoo will change the color black it'll change the colors basically in the texture part now we're going to do the sleeves so let's go back into GIMP so we're back into GIMP. I'm going to undo all this because I don't want to create another map. There's no point when I could just use the same one. So I'm going to undo all this. And now I'm going to do sleeves. Open as layer. I think this is really nice. So... export that I don't even have to flatten it I could just export it as it is let's go to view to see what it looks like okay now we're gonna do the sleeves and I'm gonna apply changes As you can see, it looks way better than the chest part, but this is really nice. I like it. Now, I'm going to do the other sleeve. Okay, we're going to undo this. Now, we're going to layer. this one now you can't see it which is fine I'm going to invert it change the color of white mm, let me see 200 200 looks like okay so I could just go invert and I'll do the opposite color and just move it up some I'm going to export. Now let's see what it looks like in VU. Okay, we're back in VU. Go down here. I'm going to apply changes. Save. Wow. Maybe I should have made it smaller, but you pretty much get exactly what I'm trying to do here. Remember, you guys can change the color here in the texture spot. You can change the color to whatever you want in the texture spot. But this is how you do the basic tattoo. Now, it doesn't look as clean as it should, but it is very simple to do very very simple but hopefully you guys follow my instructions and you'll be good to go make sure you guys like and subscribe click that notification button so you know exactly when i'm uploading new content if you have any comments please comment down below if you have any questions i will get to you quickly thank you guys for watching and have a good day